Hi, I'm Katherine Lee, parenting expert. And I'm Danielle from Cooked in Brooklyn. And today we're going to make some low-fat, healthy oatmeal cookies. Let's take a third of a cup of flour. Okay. This whole thing? That whole thing. A third of a cup of oats. Okay. And a third of a cup of wheat flour, just for a little bit of health factor. Sure. And then just mix and these guys up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're also going to add to that um, one teaspoon of baking powder okay. and a half a teaspoon yeah. of salt. <laughs> To combine all of that together. All right. And then What's we're going to put that aside. And here we have one whisked egg. And we're going to add two third cup of brown sugar, which you just did, okay. and two thirds of a cup of white sugar. Okay. And combine that with the beaten egg. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter cup of applesauce. Here's the magic ingredient to make okay. this thing low fat. I see. And, and uh -huh. moist, I'm sure. And moist. And here we also have a tablespoon of melted butter. I'm going to combine that with a quarter cup of canola oil. Okay. Again, cutting down the cholesterol and the fat, making these healthy. I can't argue with a healthy cookie. <laughs> so once we've mashed that together, I'm going to pour the oil in. Okay, and just incorporate keep, it? Yeah, you okay. can keep beating. <laughs> We're going to put that in there. It smells good. Yeah, doesn't it? It's butter. I know. <laughs> Even a little butter goes a long way for flavor. Okay. So once we have that together, okay, we're gonna incorporate the dry into the wet. Okay. I can take this guy out. Beautiful. And using your wooden spoon, now you can incorporate all the ingredients together. Alrighty. And to this, we're going to add a quarter cup of raisins that okay. I have been soaking in some water. Alrighty. So let's drain that first. Alright, and why are they soaking in water? We do that so that the raisins are nice and moist and plump, and especially if you have some dried rais raisins that are old, which I sometimes do, Oops. out of the fridge or something, <laughs> or the cabinet, you just put that in there. Okay. And here's this dough. It's oh. going to run a little bit because it is a very low-fat dough. Um, and then you're going to just put some like this. Make sure nice. they're spaced apart. And so Danielle, after you've baked the cookies mm -hmm. at about 350 degrees for about 15 minutes, okay. this is what they will look like. Can I have one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Catherine, for showing me this. You're welcome. <laughs> and for more, go to 2BusyMomsGourmet.com.